All right, what up? It's me. It's the guy that plays games on this channel. Is this gonna capture? Is it gonna work? It do. Let me get rid of some of these um, and just see if it works with a catch-all. It does, but it's not capturing the cursor. Interesting. Give me one second. Sorry about the audio. Um, capture cursor. And that should be it. Cool, cool. So, this is Simulacra 3. I've already played Simulacra 1 and 2 earlier this year. Um, they were some of the best games I've played this year, honestly. Um, there's not much in the FMV genre every year. Um, very, very like rare to get two so close together. We just had Immortality, the new Sam Barlow game. And then now we have Simulacra 3, which is from Kaigen Games, the Malaysian game studio that made Simulacra 1 and 2 as well as a couple other things. I think they made like a Doctor Who game that's on Epic Store this year and like some other stuff. But um, this definitely seems like their passion project, right? This seems like the only game that they're not contracted or hired to make, um, which maybe means it's a bit closer to what they want to be making. I don't know if that's like true. Like I can't speak for them, but you know what I mean? It definitely feels like this is the, this is the dream and the other games are maybe more, you know, work or whatever. <laughs> I'm just kind of making that up, but it does seem like that. Um, hopefully they can start making more of these. Because they are always good. So, Simulacra 1 and 2 are based around found objects. In the first, you play as yourself, I guess, and you find a phone. And in the second game, you play as a detective or a reporter. And you find a phone and you go through the game investigating and, you know, unlocking the backups to the phone to get more info and things like that. Um... So yeah, let's just play the game, I guess. It is horror, there are jump scares, epilepsy warning, you know, all the rest of that stuff. Cause it can actually get pretty blinding sometimes if you go from like a dark screen to a bright one. Also, when you're playing the game, there are noises in the headphones. I think it was Simulacra 2 that had some of the better ones, where they just have random noises occasionally. Telling Lies, the Sam Barlow game, did the same thing. Um, you just have like random noises of like people knocking on doors and stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, so it looks like we're a detective. This looks like a detective's room. We've got files and, you know, stuff in the back. To explain a little bit, Simulacra 1 and 2 were about a kind of computer virus AI thing spreading itself through the phones in a kind of occult-like way, right? So occult-style technology things are rare, right? There aren't a lot of stories about them. Um... I noticed in the intro there that it said a 12-year-old girl had went missing. In Simulacra 2, that would never have happened because the virus is spread through a dating site. So this makes me wonder, like, how is a, how is a 12-year-old getting infected with the virus, if it's still a virus? All right, welcome back, Paul. And it's a picture of me. Let's go. It's already doing that thing where it's... It's quieter than it was during the intro. Games do this thing where they make you up your volume to hear it, and then... <laughs> then the the jump scares are louder. Alright, so we got a notification bar, and we got... Inbox. What else do we have there? Objectives. Calls and messages. 
If Ruby sounds persistent, you should answer her. Um, can I check my call logs? All right, we got Ruby and nobody else in the call logs. And that's our only objective. All right, attention all employees. In accordance to the mayor's announcement on the recent lockdown restrictions to curb the rising cases of missing persons, the following procedures are now in effect. Curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. has been enforced. All businesses will need to cease operation unless exempted by the town's exper emergency task force. Traveling will be heavily regulated and only allowing for the procurement of essential needs or tending to emergencies subject to the decision of local law enforcement. Recreational activities are only allowed at the approval approved facilities named Namely, all those under the Briar Development Company. Hmm, hold on. I'm taking notes already. I wish I could take notes on screen. I wish every game gave you a little notepad. <coughs> all right, Miratech employees um, has been granted exemption from... Wait, Miratech employees has been granted. It should be have been granted exemption from these restrictions. Provided they show their passes to the relevant authorities when asked. Your lockdown pass is attached below. All right, cool. So this is like a, it's very reminiscent of uh, 2020, like lockdown, you know, the way this, this says the, the curfew, you know, everything else It's it's very reminiscent of, um, of that. I noticed this says March 3rd, 2022. All right, cool. Let's have a look at the rest of the stuff going on here. Office, private, social, we got nothing. All we have is Ruby. Oh, shit, we got this. This is a message from the office of Mayor Richardson and the Stone Creek Town Council. Residents are reminded of the lockdown starting tonight at 9 p.m. Movement during this time will be heavily restricted. For your safety, Local authorities will operate security checkpoints throughout Stone Creek. Anyone found in the open without an official pass will be subject to questioning. These new rules might be difficult to adhere to, but we are confident that this is the best way, best step for the welfare of our town. Thank you for your cooperation and continued support. Residents are reminded of the lockdown starting tonight at 9 p.m. Movement during this time will be heavily restricted. All right, wait, they sent all this at 7. Anyone found out so blah 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 subject to questioning. So this is just a repeat of the other thing. Um oh shit. That was March third, and then this is March twenty second. Um all right, hold on. March twenty second. Greenfields Park area asked to be on the lookout for fourteen year old Josie Barton. Interesting. He was reported missing. All right. Stone Creek Sheriff Department is asking for assistance in identifying the protesters at the Cloud Square opening ceremony. Contact plus two three eight five 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 two nine three one. If you have any information, should I call this? I'm gonna call this now. There's always memes. Um. Two three eight. One, two, three, two, nine, three, one. Let's do the usual. Let's call boobs. Let's call uh, sixty nine four twenty. All right. I might actually need to turn up the, oh, wait, shit. I was gonna say I might need to turn up the volume of the game, but I don't know that yet. Seems like it's fine. Oh shit, we got a bunch of videos. We'll have time to watch these later, but we've got a bunch of, this looks like a type of video you get with your phone. A bunch of photos from October pretty far away from March. All right, let's answer uh, Ruby. Where was she? Where was uh, the thing to answer her? There we go, chats. 
Um, finally, Rook. Fuck, am I? I am a reporter. Okay. Having fun with the phone I left. If you're done being nosy, we've got some work to do. Um, hang on, what's happening? Can I scroll up or is it going to like hinder me? Don't pull me back down. Don't pull me back down. It's pulling me back down with the new messages. I want to read this top part. Stop it. <laughs> oh shit. It's going to lock me into this. Uh, I can't read this top line. I can now. Okay. I can scroll up. You just have to click this top tab. All right. Ruby, are you there? Tried to call you, but you're not picking up. Listen, here's something about Stone Creek you should know. I need you to hold on to something important. We're running out of time here. Screw it, I'll come around to you. This is my last message. I'm leaving you a package at the Stone Creek Citizen Drop Point. Get it as soon as you can. All the answers are in there. This, this isn't goodbye. No, I'll see you around, Ruby. For now, just look into this, yeah? For me. And that was March 24th, and then today's March 25th. Hmm... You're lucky that you're finally getting to do something useful around here. This is Ruby Myers, reporter for the Stone Creek Citizen. Must be a newspaper. Or as you might know from your daily coffee runs, double ristretto? What the fuck is a double ristretto? On the rocks. On the rocks? Wait, doesn't... Doesn't this mean like coffee on the... On ice? What? Don't tell our editor, but we'll be working on an assignment of our own. Secret OnlyFans assignment. Not like I get assigned anything important. I'm listening, what's the scoop when we get in trouble? Um, let's go, I'm listening. Let's be cooperative. You have no reason to distrust Ruby, right? If you paid attention to the news, you'd know that things aren't going well in Stone Creek. Other than the mess of the whole resort town fiasco, people are going missing at an alarming rate. No one's doing anything to investigate this. Um, yeah, I don't see why we can't go to the editor with this, unless, like, the local government is, like, super oppressive. He might ignore us, or worse, assign it to someone else. There's no way I'm letting that happen. Have a source, Paul Castillo, a huge mystery and history buff. Really knows his way around town, though people tend to underestimate him because of his demeanor. But he has good instincts. Um, what do you mean his demeanor? To most people, he seems unhinged, and that makes it easier to write him off. Still, it doesn't make him untrustworthy, and his default setting is unpredictable. So he's pretty popular. On the contrary. Then why are we using him? He's pretty secretive, keeps to himself most of the time. Does a lot of writing though. I guess that's the only thing we have in common. So I'm getting to ask all the questions. That's interesting. When he's set on a topic, he'll go out of his way to find out everything about it. Which makes him pretty useful for my stories. He's also connected with the local community. Got some real town spirit. Um... I'm just gonna say it's your call. Sounds like she's trying to convince me rather than like tell me. Damn right it is, and I say we're doing this. Paul was convinced that he was uh, close to solving the mystery and wanted to show me the evidence he had. Instead of setting up a meet, he sent me this. Is this the package? That looks like drugs. Why does it look like it's like taped with bandages? You know? The phone you're using now was in that box. No, no, no explanation, nothing. It doesn't make sense. Do you think he might be in danger? Are you sure this isn't typical behavior for him? If this phone is evidence, there's not much on here. I haven't looked yet. Um, do you think he might be in danger? Let's go with this, typical behavior. I don't know if it's a warning or if some experimental form of communication. That device is our only connection to him and the answer we need. This is where you come in. Um, wouldn't it be easier if you did this yourself? That's literally what I was thinking, so I'm clicking it. Like, why wouldn't she take this since it's her case, right? <laughs> the only 
really bog her down. She doesn't want to lose momentum at the start. Here's a chance to look over the phone yet. Um, it won't be what you expect. The swing function is definitely the most. Like I said, Paul's careful. I had to use it once and I almost smashed out of frustration. Um, no, I wanted to speak to you first. Let's consider it off you. Well, you have my permission, Rook. He left the phone for a reason. Maybe he had an instruction or something. A memo. Video, maybe. Go on, get looking. What is this fucking spooky-ass corridor? Holy shit. Let's see what's in here. Anything interesting? Scan the Atlas tutorial video. This ruby sounds persistent. You should answer her. Alright, never mind. So, old objectives aren't cleared when they're done. Let's have a look at, at the photos from oldest to newest. Some ducks. Okay. A frog. Mm -hmm. Chilling. We got a double zoom. Hold on. This dude here. No, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't have anything. Um... Okay. Oh, look, a baby. Random night scene. Dude, I'm just waiting for like a jump scare. I'm waiting to like flick through the photos and something random happens. All right, back out of this. Let's have a look at the videos. So this is the tutorial video for Atlas. Uh, Here he is. Uh, hey, Ruby. This video may come as a surprise or not. I know we've had our differences, but that's why I respect you. It's time I tell you something. Again, it needs believing, but more importantly, it needs stopping. The town is changing. You and I can feel it. But it's an outside influence. Uh, the people are turning. That was me, not him. The phone. The phone is locked. You might need to tinker to get into it. But you're gonna need it. I know it's not much, but I hope with whatever's inside it, it will guide you to the truth. Atlas. Is used to get around Stone Creek. It shows what it has to offer. It's a map app, blah blah blah, you know how it works. But my version is more. I've locked some of the phone's contents within these grey pins. To unlock them, you okay. need to find the correct notes. As you're navigating through the phone, you might see this icon appear on the bottom of the screen. Tap on it and it will capture whatever you are currently viewing as a note. Upload the correct note to the correct grey pin and more of the phone so will open up So this is the same as Simulacra 2. This Use is the way this it worked to in guide that. you through. Yeah, Simulacra 2 did the same thing. That's all I can say for now. I hope the phone gets to you safely and... I'm counting on you to get to the truth. You need to do this. Not for me, but for Stone Creek. So, so in Simulacra 2, <clears throat> it revolved around a group of uh, people who wanted to be famous and they set up like this collective group and you had to do the same thing. You had to like go on their Instagram pages, uh, take screenshots and upload it. So if I do this, the phone's content is locked behind Atlas. Paul explains the way to unlock it. Cool. But there really isn't anything else in any of these pictures, I don't think. I'm fucking just waiting to shit myself. All I almost feel like... I almost feel like sometimes these games would be better if they weren't horror-based. Because I'm scared to, like, move forward with shit. Like, did we move down this corridor? Are we closer to the end than we were before? Am I gonna, like open this and something's in the corridor? Like, what the fuck is this? Alright. Let's use Atlas. Data locked. Most of the phone's content is locked behind Atlas. To restore them, please upload the proper notes to the locked pins. Um... 
most of the content is locked. So if I click on the library, this isn't locked. Tracing mode. Unlock mode. Um. Oh, and Atlas is like a type of Twitter thing as well. Can we leave comments like we did before? Oh shit! In case you missed it, the police are looking for the protesters. Don't snitch. Stone Creek is losing its character and everything that makes it special. Um. Oh god, I can type. All right. Atuka poop. So big and the flush. Three times. Three goddamn times. Send. Nice. Alright, where's my chat thing again? Let me get rid of this. What is the name of the guy that sent me this? Um She said his name somewhere, right? Da -da 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 -da. Paul Castillo. Okay. I keep forgetting characters' names in games, so I'm writing it down. Paul Castillo, Ruby Myers, and I am... I don't know, Dump Truck Dan or something. I don't know what my name is. You know... A little scroll wheel on this side would be cool to make this go a little bit quicker. This is how fast it scrolls with the mouse wheel. Like, you can hear that, right? Very slow. Alright. Let's consider it of you. We'll have permission work, blah, blah, blah. A memo, video, maybe. Get on, get looking. I found something. Ta-da! Cool. We could play it from chat like normal. You mentioned using Atlas, sounded like all this was meant for you. Um Okay, I'm gonna say that. Like or not, you're in this with me now. True. Who's to say you won't snitch on me if you don't get anything out of this? Paul kept his investigation on his phone. Unlocking it is our priority. Atlas is his tool of choice, he explained it well in the video. Think you can manage it, Rook? I could give you some pointers if you need a nudge. Got it covered. Now for 20 minutes of me trying to get the first clue. Show me what you got. Rick and Morty. Get full access to the phone and tell me once you find something related to the investigation. In the meantime, I'm going to check up old meetup point uh, Paul and I used previously. Cool. There's, I'm counting the lights. There's four lights. Is this a fake corridor? Is this a painting? I think this is a 3D render in a painting, right? This looks painted. I don't know. Anyway. Um, let's go to Atlas's newsfeed and just have a scroll back and see how far back we can go. What the fuck is this? Alright, alright. There's a lot here. The, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, for fuck. Uh, do I have to play this? Do I have to play this? Really? What the fuck is this graffiti? Um... Deleted user posted this graffiti of like... A world split in two with a big crack down the middle. Let me get this straight. The Beldum died because she drowned. To honor her, the town set up a fountain. A fountain filled with war. War, the thing that killed her. Beldum fountain. I thought you could click this and go to the location, but you can't. I'm begging you. I don't want to think critically anymore. Stop putting false in my head. Um, I like war. It's fun to drink with friends. Just gonna have all these shit posts. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Miracle Waters Assembly annual food drive is just around the corner. Applications for volunteers are still open. For donations, kindly contact MS MX Harrington. 
General rule, we do not accept food past its due date. Do not take this as an opportunity to offload your unwanted items. <coughs> Remember, if you won't eat it or use it, why would you expect someone else to? Is this the um, food bank that we see in one of the photos? Hmm. Can't you read this ad? No trash. Smells like entitlement. Beggars can't be choosers. No, absolutely nonsense. Their dignity deserves to be respected as much as... This is very like the pandemic, right? Like food banks and lockdown. Very, very like the pandemic. Um, does anyone like hummus? I have so much hummus that I used it to tile my bathroom. Let's fix stuff. Gonna give a winky face. There you go. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I wish that when you sent this, it went to the devs. I want the devs to see my ship posts. That's basically it. Um, doors are still open for those to visit. Right, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Central romantic spot. Proposal on my last visit. Huh? Spot of the proposal. Okay. Just saying, y'all are changing things and the Beldum doesn't like it. Not one bit. What's Beldum? Is Beldum like the monster? She's not real. How old are you to still believe in that? Oh no! Is Beldum like this creepy drowned girl? Oh no. Oh Jesus. Please no. The Beldum. The Beldum. Fuck me. Please open a petting zoo. Really want to see your animals on your farm. I'd so pay for this. Hey guys, we really appreciate the love, but we just have none of the manpower to do that. Ooh. We do have a daily live stream with feeds from the coops and barns, so you can see our low critters relaxing. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> That's fucking great. It's not the same. Uh, there's a live stream on Twitch of chickens and you can donate uh, bits to feed them. And Lyric spent like 15 bucks and just donated like a whole bunch and the whole thing emptied of food. It was great. He just kept donating like 50 cents at a time and like triggering the little solenoid to open the, the food hatch. All right. The Costa has been has seen better days. There are plans to upgrade the amenities. Between this and the old town square, there's less space for everyone to gather. Don't be so dramatic. Stone Creek is mm, far more than those two places. Commercial areas do not equal community spaces. Maybe the community should have a get together and do an upkeep of the place or a fundraiser. I'm impressed with how much this town is. The place has changed. Modern and chic, better than the eyesore it was years ago. For real, now this is what I call a museum. That looks like the absolute starkest, most boring, industrial, commercial, fucking, what is this? What do you call this? Uh, polished plaster? Polished kind of like floor? Disgusting. I thought the original architecture and design were beautiful. It had so much more personality and detail. What a downgrade. I don't know who the museum director is, but they're public enemy number one. Beldum, give it a chance. Oh, this person's called Beldum. Oh, fuck. Simplicity has its uh, points. It allows the exhibitions to shine on their own. Um, one time I took a shit in a KFC bathroom. And all I had to wipe with was lemon wipes. My ring was stinging. <laughs> There's no limit on this. You can just type a big sentence. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I fucking laugh so hard at my own jokes because I'm so scared. I don't want to play the game. I don't want to like have fucking jump scares and oh, oh Christ. The quality has been the best since it opened way back. Brewster greater than the grind. Their staff is also great with handling meticulous orders. I once ordered a triple shot latte with two pumps of butterscotch, two pumps of white mo mocha and some caramel sauce drizzled inside. It was pure bliss. We should try and do a challenge with them so you can make the most complicated order. Definitely would consider that. Maybe we should 
Name the challenge. Hashtag Brewster mix up. Oh my god. All right. In reverse. Worst logistics company ever. Talking about Sunny Express Warehouse. They lost my parcel multiple times, and it's the only delivery service we have in town. I don't understand how one can be so incompetent. My parcel S E double. Oh. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Whenever there's a fucking number, I'm writing it down. We're going to put this number into the parcel thing and it's going to say like, this parcel is up a tree. Or it's going to have absolutely no bearing on the game at all. This is so real to life though, right? Every time somebody complains about a company, <clears throat> somebody else will share a story and then the company will say like, oh, message us back on the DMs and we'll fix that issue. What do you mean email us? I already sent free. See what I mean? Even fictional company fucking suck. <sighs> Stone Creek is brighter for your leadership. Talking about Richardson House. Thanks the mayor and his office by listing down your favorite things to come out of his administration. I'll start. He's been doing the Richardson name proud. Like his father before him, they've led Stone Creek for generations and not once given up. Our town survived this long thanks to them. Can't deny that this new bus route... The new bus routes are a lifesaver. Stone Creek's been in survival mode ever since it started. The Richardsons are a joke. Give someone else the chance to lead. <laughs> oh no. Richardson's not afraid to speak the truth. We can't trust him. Oh, we can trust him. When I move this, that little kiwi picture like glistens. It probably doesn't come across in 720p. But it's like it's animated, but it's not. My fave Mayor Rich moment was him wearing a $1,000 designer suit during an 829 dinner with investors where he tipped me a $5 at the end of it. <laughs> World building. Denying that our town, like, you know, everybody saying the town's falling apart makes me think Mayor Richardson's an asshole, right? But then this, this $5 tip thing, throws it out, throws it out. Denying that our town has, has a homelessness issue. This guy is great at investments. I mean, sectioning off pieces of Stone Creek to the highest bidder, genius. That concludes the list of reasons why we need him out. Next local election is not far away. Richardson out. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're on our first fucking creepy one. Jesus Christ. Important question. This is holy pasta. Holy pastas. Oh, fuck. I clicked it and made it bigger. Oh, fuck. Right. Holy pasta. Abernathy Farms. Important question, my cousin's husband's neighbor's auntie- Wait, what the fuck? My cousin's husband? His neighbor? Wouldn't that just be your cousin's neighbor? Would, wouldn't your cousin's husband's neighbor just be your cousin's neighbor? Because hopefully they still live in the same house if they're married, right? Cousin's husband's neighbor's auntie. Forwarded this picture to me. So if they forwarded this picture to you, and it was your cousin's husband's neighbor's auntie. Doesn't that just mean your friend? Wouldn't that then just be your friend? A friend of mine. Jesus fucking Christ, this is like... <laughs> anyway, that detective on the case, right? Working out who's related to who, who's Goldfish's sister's wife. Oh, Christ. Claiming that the Beldum was sighted near... The... I fucking said Beldum? And the, the, like, you know how you have, like, an extractor fan in your bathroom that takes all, like, the steam out, blows outside? The extractor fan fucking flapped as soon as I said it. It was creepy. Anyway, um, we say in your future, like, by your farm. Is this true? Sorry, we cannot verify this. Holy pasta, can you invite me to the group chat? Does your cousin's husband's neighbor's auntie have more foes? Uh, I've been on her cousin's husband's... Neighbors, aunties, only fans. She has a ton of photos of scary monsters in the dark. <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> That'd be too bold. Wait, acquaintance at max? It's your. It's, it's some. If somebody's like, hey, look at this monster that nearly fucking attacked me, I'd say they're pretty close to, to being a friend. I mean, if you have their. Uh, if you have their mobile number. Alright. Also, what up, by the way? How long have you been here? 
have you been here the whole time? Because I've spent 40 minutes doing nothing. Um, give Bertha the cow a raise. The last batch of milk I bought was delicious. Abernathy Farms. Oh, look! Oh, look! The cow. Done and done. We're happy to report that Bertha received some extra morning pats and a special treat today. Oh, cute Bertha. They have, they have symbols. There we go. Grinding in Skyrim. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. Did you know that I've have like I have like 200 hours in Skyrim, right? I've never played the Dawn Guard DLC. I haven't played any of the DLC. People say it's great. I have special edition, I have game of the year edition. Like I, I own it. I've owned it for years. I haven't played it. And I don't think I've played it since getting the 1070 either. I think like like it's been over three and a half, four years since I've played it. It makes me want to, but then eh. Uh, do I want to get sucked back into Skyrim and have like 50 hours of streaming Skyrim again? Save your trouble and skip this one. It's basically a shrine to the founding families. History or publicity. Stone Creek Historical Society. Okay. Um, Isn't this guy... I mean, it's hard to see, but isn't this guy literally... This is Paul, right? This is Paul Castillo. But his name is Apol State. This is Paul Castillo's Twitter. When I post, it's me, right? So this is my tweet. Important question. Are the crop circles man-made or alien stuff? Alien stuff. A-L-Y-E-N. Jesus Christ. Folks, these leaves will be a time sink, yeah. Even if you do them fast, you're looking at like 10. Oh, fuck. And I'd have to make a new character. And like, character creation takes me like 14 hours. You know? You gotta get your... Uh, Night Elf Druid's boobs the right size and, you know, make sure your fingernails on your tabaxi dwarf are uh, the right length. You know what I mean? They're great. They're really... Wait, they're 100% real. Great-great-grandfather Abernathy woke up to some strange noises and blinding lights outside and then there they were. Wait, what the fuck? The Abernathy Farms official... Is that the real Abernathy Farms? Abernathy Farms. It's the real Abernathy Farms. Responded to the crop circle saying they're real. Hey, do the aliens come back every so often to trim and maintain their work? It's like mowed perfectly the different times I visit. <laughs> crop circles are fake. I saw a big Rick from the Walmart parking lot making them this morning uses shopping cart with a piece of wood on it you know um real talk there was a guy doing crop circles in the UK like where it started did I not post this I did there's a guy doing crop circles in the UK where it started and you know how he actually made them he showed people how he made them and the experts were like no that's not the same he takes a plank of wood and drills a hole in each end and ties a string around it. He then grabs the string and using his foot on the plank of wood, steps on the, on the like wheat or oats or whatever the fuck it is, right? Steps in the field and then he like moves it forward and steps again, moves it forward and steps again, using the ropes as like handles to lift it up. He literally showed how he made them, and they're like, no, they're too precise, and the way that they're bent and blistered, we don't have anything that could do this to uh, to crops. Like, fuck off. It's just a guy with a plank of wood. He did it in, like, an afternoon. He didn't even wait till nighttime. It, he literally did it when it was still light. That's how nobody caught him, because they just saw a man in a field, right? They saw a man in a field walking, and they were like, oh, it's a man in a field walking, if anybody even did see him. There's no big secret. Crop circles aren't real. Um, should I put wake up sheeple in the thing? Do you want me to write it? If crop circles are real, then how come when I get out the shower and stick my finger up my ass, 
It still smells like shit. Shouldn't it be clean? Wake up, sheeple. There you go. Real story. Um, I think it was Burt Kreischer, the comedian. Burt Kreischer was in a uh, bathroom. This is not like a joke. This is really, this is real. Burt Kreischer was in a bathroom and there was no toilet paper. So he decided that because the sink was so close, because in this bathroom he was leaning his arm on the sink as he was doing a shit, he decided he would use his hand. So he his plan was to scoop in his ass, right? Wash his hand and then scoop and wash. Kind of like, you know, how a lot of people do it. Like a lot of countries do that. And um, he scraped, he scraped his ass with his hand and it was clean. So you know what he did? He sniffed it. <laughs> he sniffed it. And it smelled like shit. It smelled like ass. <laughs> but he, he had a no wiper. He had a no wiper on the day he had no toilet paper. But he ruined it by wiping his ass with his hand. Anyway. Um, Y'all should stop by... Oh, the Costa Community Center. Y'all should stop by on the weekends. They offer free recreational classes and fitness programs. Bingo too if you're feeling spicy. Spicy bingo? Seconded. The only downside is sometimes two classes take up the same hall. Is there a class on getting the beldum to notice me? Jesus Christ. Notice me senpai to the fucking spooky monster. I highly recommend Ingrid's crochet class. That's right, Ingrid's crochet class, led by Ingrid, who is very nice and kind. Those are my organic thoughts, and I am not being forced to write this because Ingrid is a lovely person who would never threaten someone for good reviews. <laughs> Spicy Bingo and Ingrid's Crotch. Sign me up. Alright. The Goose. The Goose is the funniest guy so far. 3 4. I get to see pictures of the Beldum on their app. It won't tell me where she is, though. Oh, talking about Mira Technologies. Okay. I did not see the Beldum, plus no one mentioned how dangerous it is there, here. Cliffs aren't sectioned off, people, old people, and off-leash pets and children beware. This is the, the lighthouse. Stone Creek Library. Come here if you want to know about the Stone Creek history. Our historical society is a joke. Slash gen. What does slash gen mean? Does that mean slash genuine? I'm not up on the, uh... I'm not up on the old text lingo. Is this like when people put tone impliers? Like slash ironic slash serious? I'm not a miracle person. Oh wait, a religious person. But I've been finding myself here more and more lately. It's the only place that makes me feel safe. Been praying for those who've gone missing is such a tragedy. Miracle Wars Assembly. I wish we could zoom in on the photos more. Alright. Farah... Farah Ayanda... Beldum Fountain. Volunteers are needed to point to join the search for Winston Jones. Winston was reported missing on January 6, 2022. He was last seen at the Beldum Fountain. The family is asking for assistance from the community to help bring him home. The search will take a uh, place on January 10th, 2022 at 9am. We'll meet at the Beldum Fountain and assign you into groups. If you're interested in volunteering, please leave a comment below. Someone from our team will get back to you shortly. Sign me up. With the amount of... Um, dead roaches I find... Wait, no, I shouldn't write that. I was going to say with the amount of dead roaches I find in my kitchen, I'm sure to be able to find a dead dude. <laughs> I shouldn't say he's dead. Um, He's just missing. He's not dead. I shouldn't say that. Sign me up. Uh, I'm good at hunting people down. There you go. It's not even real social media. And I adjusted what I was going to say. Ooh, Beldum Fountain. Okay, hear me out. I was taking some pictures for my scrapbook and my phone bricked and restarted itself. I found this in the gallery when I checked. There's no way this is the Beldum, right? You're so lucky. Rumor has it that one people, the people that went missing was last seen at the fountain. Who was it? Maddie Madsen? Time to start our crime podcast. Maddie Madsen will get to the bottom of this. Oh my god, her name is Maddie Bay, and her name is Maddie Madsen. They can call it the Mad 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 Podcast. 
right? Sick. After your petitioning, they finally installed a wheelchair ramp. Big thanks to everyone who signed First Vale the Costa Community Center. This place was built... Wait, why wasn't it installed when the place was built? Wheelchair users didn't exist in the 1950s. Search me to say, but it's likely they didn't see a need for it. When I showed my boss a petition, it was its own process of trying to convince him, and then they negotiated the funding, etc. You know, if you have an old building in the UK, and you want to, like, add disabled access... It's it's very fucking difficult. I um I installed blinds, right? Like blinds for your window in a listed building in Edinburgh once, and we weren't allowed to drill into the wall to install the blinds. So what they did was they got approval to drill two pieces of wood into the actual real wall, into the stone brickwork, and it was like a whole lengthy process for them to get approval. And then once those pieces of wood were put up, we were then allowed to install the the blinds onto the pieces of wood. You know what I mean? Like we couldn't just put the bracket straight into the wall because it's a listed building. It's like an old stone building from like fucking 1420 or some shit, right? Very, very difficult. I mean, if you can't even put blinds up without all that process, imagine trying to put a ramp. There's no way you're going to get approval to pour concrete over old stone or anything like that. It would probably have to be... You know those things that are like temporary? Like a temporary um, ramp? It would have to be one of those that's like secured and the sec securing points would have to be so minimal. I don't know a lot about it, but I know that like it was a nightmare trying to get blinds installed in a fucking building. It cost a lot of money, but we didn't get a lot of money to do it, <laughs> right? Because all we did was a normal installation and then some call-outs and assessments, whereas like the people who probably got the money are the inspectors that approved uh, putting up the piece of wood. <laughs> Alright. Uh, question mark out of five. So this is them reviewing places. Stone Creek Historical Society. I came here for the Beldum's exhibit. Where did you put it? Hate to break it to you, but the museum removed it last November. Is it coming back? Hell if I know. Her exhibit isn't the only one missing. They reopened. Since they reopened. Zero out of five. I did not see the Beldum. Worst day of my life. <laughs> So the Goose Speaks is like somebody who is basically me, right? Like he really loves creepy waifus and he just wants the Beldum to like snatch him away into the ocean. You know what I mean? Which is basically me. But it seems like the town is covering up something. Why would you get rid of her exhibit? And it's the historical society. Her exhibit... So it's not exhibits of her artwork that she made. It's like an exhibit about her. All right, Beldum at Beldum Fountain. When you feel lost and all is bleak, beware the Beldum off Stone Creek. Lighten up, don't make a frown. Otherwise, like her, you will drown. Five out of five. I miss Miss Beldum. Shh, not now. I'm busy hexing the mayor and his council. You know what? I'm already on her side. I'm already on her side. Uh, five out of five. Would read again. Needs a Kanye remix. Cool. Rip Fall Festival. You are the best. We're not having it this year. It's my favorite Stone Creek tradition. I don't see how the... With the venue ruined. Mayor and his goons haven't said anything either. This just ruined my Halloween. Your support line is no help. Why are my posts about Winston disappearing? Oh! Oh! Is he one of the guys who went missing? Yes, I put posts everywhere to try and keep his story going, but they keep take, taking them down. That's weird. Wait, what is this picture of? Oh, it's a branch. It's a branch in front of the moon. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen any posts mentioning the other cases either. Shit, I wonder if it's hitting all of them. Okay. I'm surprised by their lack of customer service recently. I thought after their booming success... They would have better staff. Obviously, everything about them is a facade. Don't bother. What are you guys hiding, Mirror Technologies? All those missing people are most probably with them since they can't even acknowledge these comments. Oh, God. Even, like, these free little fucking spooky photos that you could have generated with an AI. 
like you can you can generate a photo like this right in like seconds i i have a local ai thing that i've been using right i, I use a stable diffusion with um a couple of custom models you could make this in seconds, but there's something about seeing it in a game and knowing that the game knows you're looking at it that fucking freaks you out. It makes me think it's gonna like move or like, I don't know, like I'm gonna shit my pants. And when I <laughs> went to pick up my drink after work and I saw this, new addition to the graffiti, is this Beldum one you, oh no. What if he took a photo thinking it's graffiti? And then he goes back, and then there's, like, nothing there. Somebody in the comments is gonna say that. We checked when we closed today, and it wasn't there! Oh, these... oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. There's some guy stalking around here for the past few nights. I've alerted CSC, SD, and the SE staff. Oh, haven't done anything, be careful. Do you think you could be involved with disappearances? It beats me. I'm not about to investigate and become a potential victim. Watch too many horror movies to act stupid. True. Do you have any beds open? This is at Miracle Waters Assembly. Would it be a problem if I'm not part of your church? Beds are open to everyone. It's yours if you need it. We can also arrange something with our friends at the DaCosta Community Center. You have options. How about we continue this in our private messages? Thank you. This means more to me than it can say. This is a lizard brain who apparently is homeless. Oh, God. Staff here are great. There's not a lot... Wait. There's not a lot of updated books, but if you're looking for something old and interesting, definitely check out the library. Um, is there a spooky monster in the library? Hmm... Been waiting for hashtag myth monsters to come back for months. Guy called left on red. Oh sh! I pressed the button. I didn't mean to. I meant to be in here. Are we close to the end of this? We're close to the end. It's taking me almost an hour to basically just read fucking Twitter. Where are you guys going to end? When are you gonna end the lockdown? Chill, it isn't hard to stay at home and do nothing. Yeah, like, the lockdown is so similar to, you know, the checkpoints, the curfews, the restrictions on businesses, the scannable passes for members of different groups. The lockdown is so coronavirus, but I'm guessing that it's basically just a way to keep people safe from the, you know, person that's abducting people, which I'm pretty sure at this point is is the, the Beldum, right? It has to be. It has to be the Beldum or, or something like that. Um, they're doing the best they can given the circumstances. We just have to be patient. This is our collective safety. Lameo, if their best is holding a damn press conference for a new mall instead of, I don't know, finding all those missing people or getting to the cause of the problem. Hmm. I'd kill to be able to walk at night in peace again. Guys, we found them. The kidnapper. It's it's Wyatt doing. Oh no. <laughs> Fix your app. The navigation system is busted. Oh, whoa. Maybe Mirror Technologies is fucking up the navigation system on the Atlas app and making people walk to like areas to be abducted. Brewster's Coffee House. Four or five, didn't see the Beldum, but the barista made my drink with latte art of her. Oh, I can't believe I drank the Beldum. No. This is like, there are people like this on Twitter that are like obsessed with a, a character. Like me with fucking Laura in uh, Leval Within. <laughs> Remember the part? There was a part where um, in the Evil Within, there's like a, a part with a lift shaft in the middle of the room. Um, it's not a lift shaft. It's like a, it's like, um, I don't know, a circular area with all the floors around it. And then there's a lift shaft in that circular area. And you can see all the way down to the bottom and there's like, it's caged up. So nobody like falls. There's a part where Laura, the like creepy monster in evil within crime climbs up the side of the cage, like a spider. And I was so busy looking at her, right? 
so busy like looking at the details on the model and like trying to look close i didn't realize she fucking had an exit and she broke through and fucking chases you and i'm just standing there like <laughs> Top kick. I did the same thing when I knocked her on the ground and I was meant to set fire to her. I was too busy looking at her model and she fucking attacked me. Good shit. We'd say that counts as seeing her. I can't believe I drank the Veldum. It does count as seeing her, right? Beyond excited to visit the new downtown. About to do some major damage, y'all. Going feral. Maybe we should start having massive parties downtown so those old farts know how to run a town. <laughs> Um, Crowner Peak Lighthouse. I'm gonna put a hoodie on. I'm fucking cold. I think I'm getting cold, like nervous fucking sweats because of <laughs> the creepy game. I'm trying not to like creep myself out by just staying on Twitter because if I stay on Twitter, it's a safe space, right? Oh god. I don't even know um, how lo long this game is, but there are some people who have reviews up of this game already that have only played like four hours. If anything, uh, I'll take a lot longer than anybody else because, you know, I'm going to be reading everything. Um, the views here are something else. It's great to just soak up the atmosphere and forget about everything. I wish I could say the same. I can't escape the photogs and the hog that hog the area. Yeah, it's best to plan ahead. Sunrise and sunsets are no-goes. That's sad. One hand, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. That's a true thing, though. Um... People who take photos, because there's like an hour in the morning and an hour at night where like you get the best photos. Um, if you go to the, like places like the Lake District, there's always photographers at like 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Like the morning mist is still there and they're trying to like set up to take photos of landscapes. It's wild how much like, how, how much um, time there is in a day where photographers basically can't take photos, right? Especially like landscapes. The most interesting things are always sunrise and sunset. Stop blasting my phone with your texts. You're needier than my ex. To Richardson House? What? I don't mind them. It's like there's something out there who cares, someone out there who cares about me. Is this guy wearing a VR headset? They don't care about you. Take that back. I'll be waiting for you next. Your text later. Stone Creek government automated communication systems. Love heart. It's pretty meme. It's pretty meme. We're almost there. We're almost there. If I pay you a ton of money, can I be exempted from the lockdown too? Asking for a friend. And that's to Richardson House. Follow-up question. What do we get in return for... um, God. What do we get in return for reporting people who were at the protest today? If you remember correctly, you'll be honoured at the BOFA ceremony. I like the sound of them. Yeah, yeah, it's a real treat. See what happens. Shove both of these hands down your throat for being asleep. I thought it was going to be a both of these nuts joke. The bofa ceremony. Fucking both of these nuts. <laughs> I'm typing it. Both of these nuts. Got them. Jesus Christ. Oh, we can order it by, like, where these took place. That's pretty unique. Um, in case you missed it, police are looking for the protesters. Hashtag don't snitch. Stone Creek is losing its character and everything that makes it special. Of course people are upset. Why can't they see that? Stone Creek is losing its character and everything that makes it special. Wait, this said the same thing. Hmm. This guy says I took a big poop... So big, I had to flush it three times. Three goddamn times? Why would he say that? Alright. Um, Stucky time. Let's go with the unlock mode. So we've got a couple of shits going on here. We've got a couple of shits going on here. And we have to unlock these. So. I have no idea what I need to use. Um, I'm not going to ask for a hint yet. Let's go and surf war. So this is about the protests. Tough crowd. Protesters organize a sit-in at Mayor Ribbon's, Mayor's Ribbon Cutting Ceremony. Ruby Myers wrote the article. Um, protesters chant, stop racing our identity outside the event. 
It was meant to be a momentous occasion filled with fanfare, the ribbon ceremony to unveil the newly renovated downtown square was highly anticipated. Event promoted, blah, blah, blah. This is boring as fuck. There was protests, right? <coughs> Biggest horror in this game are the memes. Dude, I'm scared, right? I'm scared and I'm trying to just keep myself on the Twitter, keep myself on the news articles and stay away from the fucking evil monster. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Also, what up, Kimrex? <laughs> what up? Oh, God. Um, I'm going to read this quick, though. I'm, I am actually scared, like, genuinely. It's the silence. It's the silence and, like, knowing that the game knows you've been sitting here for an hour, right? It Knowing it could just go, ah, and then you shit your pants. Knowing it can do that is terrifying. The effort marks a major milestone to secure the Stone Creek as a destination location. Um, one of the many initiatives to showcase the town's commercial prospects. Instead, the audience in attendance inspired silence as protesters of the event occupied seats meant for supporters. They hold signs that speak for them. Stop racing our identity it hasn't been the first time they've expressed objections. Circulating petitions and pamphlets months prior in hopes to halt the development plans. She uses a lot of big words. Um, the square has was a modest open space area that regularly featured stalls from local craftsmen and artisans to showcase their wares. On the weekends, it operated as a farmer's market, providing some familiar some families their livelihood for the week. It also is also where the annual town fair Fall Fest was held, and the community came together as one. The reconstruction works permitted by the council would cease those activities. In their place, a mini mall would take permanent residence we've got something similar going on here where i live there was like a indoor shopping center like a like a mall basically but like a one-story mall kind of like a big s-shaped building and it was up for sale and it was really cheap i think that somebody paid like a hundred and eighteen thousand for it including like all of the buildings in it right like if you own it you still have to pay like fees or whatever right like to the government and whatever, right? But I think it was 118,000 or like 130,000, which is very fucking cheap. Like that is nothing. That is literally nothing for um multiple stores and like you know what I mean? But anyway, the guy had this plan to like do this but inside the mall. So the mall has like a huge I don't know how how wide it would be meters like very big walkway in the middle that goes all the way through it and he wanted to set up like stalls and and tables for stuff there he even wanted to do um artist things where he would put like art stuff on but i haven't actually heard anything about it possibly it all got scrapped before the pandemic or like when the pandemic hit i don't know anyway that's random dab fucking town life story number 562 um, when Mayor Richardson arrived at the ceremony, he did not seem bothered by the display. Keeping a cool demeanor, he invite, invited his honored guests and investors on stage alongside him as he made a speech. Then, with a smile that only grew wider, he announced an upcoming project. In association with the National Briar Development Company. This is the fucking company, dude. Briar com the Briar Development Company are the ones that are allowed to move around at night when the curfew is on. The curfew to stop the abductions. Um... In association with the National Briar Development Company, several properties in Stone Creek have been acquired to be transformed into hotels. Mayor Richardson did not name the areas involved in the project, but hinted that it would bring new life into Stone Creek. At that, the ribbon was cut and the public was invited to explore the new square. While Mayor Richardson and his guests turned to their their tour wait, turned to tour their success. To tour their success? I guess to like walk around their own area? The protest did not. protesters did not react. Remaining seated, they raised their signs higher. Moved by the mayor's charisma or the resilience of the crowd, those in attendance made their own decisions. Some trickled into the new square, some joined the sit-in, and others left. Many are concerned that the town is losing its character with the latest developments. The council's move to remake Stone Creek's image to what they call a resort city continues to suppress the rich history and local culture. 
the incident to today today I almost said today today demonstrated an escalation on both sides do you think do you think that this is this is going to be some anti Zuckerberg memes you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying anti Zuckerberg memory um that's it. There's no uh there's no screenshot button. There's no screenshot button at all. We got Josie Barton, she's missing. She's kind of a cutie, right? She's kinda of cute. No? Wait, wait, 14! Oh, oh, right guys, we're out here. Um see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. <sighs> okay. Josie Barton, written by Glenn Polacek. Please contact the Stone Creek Sheriff Department with any information regarding Josie Barton. 14-year-old Josie Barton was reported missing on the morning of March 22nd, 2022. She was last seen in Greenfields Park, West Stone Creek. Hmm. Josie was there playing with friends when she reportedly... When you're 14, you don't play with friends. You know what you do? You know what you do? You drink alcohol and smoke fucking reefer. That's what you do in the park. Kimmerix, you fucking, you stop, okay? <laughs> the Chris for your interview, Chris Hansen? What, wait, is that who you're talking about? Is that his name? Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm sure the actress is actually not 14. Right, I'm sure the actress is like fucking 38. Um, the security cameras that cover the area see Josie approach the back of the building, but she has not seen entering it. Others who were there at the time report seeing Josie examining the art on the wall. That was the last... Wait. The art on the wall. Remember the art on the wall? That ended up not actually being there? This was at Brewster's uh, coffee. Where is Brewster's coffee? Brewster's coffee's here, and she went missing where? She went missing at the park, right? I guess we don't know where the park would be. It's one of these green areas, obviously. All right, um, back to this. What were we doing? We were looking at the articles. So there's no thing to take a photo here. Along with Josie, the cases of Paloma Smith, Julian Yee, Winston Jones, and Alex Barry, to name a few, remain unsolved with no further leads. Our small community, uh, it proves to be a chilling trend. Oh, and it gives a description of her. So, green t-shirt, blue jeans, white sneakers, 110 pounds, brown hair, and br brown eyes. Alright, it is her. Just check, double checking, double checking. Okay, and there's no screenshot button, so we can't use this as a piece of evidence towards unlocking another thing. Um, The Unseen of Stone Creek, Lee Akana, Ghostwriter. Is this about the homeless? Alright, I don't think we want to read about the homeless. Do we? Do we want to read this? Is this going to be relevant or is this just like a fluff story? Alright, let's fly through it. Deep breath. You're mistaken, it's a visibility issue. There are simply no homeless people in Stone Creek. Huh? This is a direct quote from Mayor Richardson's office when approached regarding the subject of this article. While many celebrate the changes to transform Stone Creek, there are those who will be harmed in the process of par in the promise of paradise. What we fail to realize is Stone Creek is headed towards a direction that doesn't stand for us all. More and more residents turn to the streets. Without aid, the mayor's denial will only exacerbate the situation. The plan outlined by the mayor's mayor prioritizes a certain type of resident, one with a certain level of income and privilege. It is a sustainable 
plan for those oh, fucking hell dude my eyes are going together it isn't a sustainable plan for those who live below the poverty line the homeless population in stone creek has been on a steady incline year after year it's not a problem most of us recognize because our town has continuously lacked the resources to identify and aid them homelessness in small cities manifests differently than in urban areas at least at the beginning what is most troubling of all is that any media or comment that mentions the homeless in on atlas seems to mysteriously disappear our article covering the outreach program done by miracle water assembly church also failed to show up on the atlas feed when dressed pressed on the apparent censorship on certain posts online mirror tech the company behind atlas declined to comment knowing this is difficult to continue celebrating the developments knowing knowing this it's difficult to cel continue celebrating the developments of our town when the underlying issues are not addressed stone creek is a town dependent on its community to work together um who is this development truly for you know what's interesting that dude that posts about the fucking the beldum all the time right gooseman what's his name sexy goose 49 the goose speaks right this goose guy hasn't had any of his beldum posts removed but they're removing posts of other stuff she looks 14 don't say that fuck you're making me look really bad i'm not making myself look bad at all it's you doing all the work all right she looks a bit like uh fucking what's her name emilia clark she looks like a uh, emilia clark a bit that's what I, you know i'm not defending myself all right let's fucking look at the next shit <laughs> Do you have a story to share? Do you want to protect your identity? Secure drop point at the Stone Creek Citizen Headquarters. Oh! This is where we got the package that contained this phone. I thought that the drop point would be like a building that had, you know, workers there and you could leave a package for somebody. Interesting. Oh, I'm gonna... I keep yawning. <clears throat> we at the Stone Creek Citizen believe that this paper is for the people, by the people. Rally the voices has always been our motto and we want to reflect that. If there is something that needs our attention, please submit an anonymous tip to us for our secure drop points. Deliver confidential inf- Oh! So he gave us a phone for the drop points. So it's not un- it's not uncommon to receive information through the drop points while working at this newspaper where, where we work at. But what is uncommon is the way that we got a package that had the phone in it. Ah. Okay. Deliver, confident, deliver confidential information such as physical evidence, photographs, documents, or digital evidence, flash drives, and we'll do our best to investigate your claims. Dude, I would never, never, ever nowadays put in a flash drive from somebody, like, ever. I, I've seen the videos of, like, the flash drives that have the little capacitors that fry your, um... They fry you either the port or some of them will take out the whole system. Plus, like, key loggers and stuff that runs scripts as soon as you plug it in. Just no. Just no. Please note that we cannot conduct an inquiry without an attachment of proof. If you wish for a specific... Should I submit myself to the Stone Creek newspaper? For my comments? <laughs> if you wish for a specific staff member to investigate your tip, please address it to them in your submissions. Otherwise, our internal review team will assign it to the, the appropriate staff. This channel is not for receiving feedback, resumes, or story pitches. <laughs> All right, Stone Creek Citizen done. And that's everything. Can we try and go on Google? What about we go on Reddit? Um, Pornhub didn't work either. OnlyFans? Hold on. No, no OnlyFans. Ah! Okay. So, if we go into unlock mode, and... I 
guess we're gonna go to rally the voice because rally the voice is um their mo then this is the file we need to go and upload did it do it it did it's unlocking a bunch of shit we got new media um oh 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 this is a new a new photo this is a photo of um Paul, right? Paul Castillo. In the library. Paul, the owner of the phone, what secret is he hiding? You can't scan any of these. Oh, do you think he used that string to get the circles? Do you see that? To get like the, the clean circle? You were wild once, don't let them tame you. Missing. Stone Creek, Julian Yi. 5 foot, 119 pounds. He is 5 inches shorter and weighs 10 pounds, only 10 pounds more than the girl that went missing. Blue jeans, black jean trousers, wait. Blue jean shirt, oh, blue jean shirt. Alright. Cool. Oh, we got a video. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Oh, fuck. We got recordings again. I love the recordings. All right, let's fucking go. Let's go. It's gotta be him. Went missing four days ago, spotted by some kids wandering around the riverbank two days ago, and now he's here? What the hell are you doing here? Damn it. I'm getting ready for some bad special effects. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, no, no, no. What are you up to? Can I QR code this? Oh, you can't pause the video when it's in full screen. It just fucking does the click out thing. So if you want to QR code it, you're gonna to need to like actually be really quick. Let me get my phone. I'm pretty sure the game is gonna let me scan that QR code with the in-game phone. What the fuck is going on? Why is my rug like this? My rug just got eaten by my chair. All right. Um, it's Google Lens, right? That you can do the QR code shit with. Search with your camera. It's probably gonna say like web link. What are you up to? encounter.mp4 is pretty good. It's pretty good. Warehouse encounter. This is what happens to everyone who disappeared. But that's the guy that went missing days ago. So does it come back and like take them and then deposit them back again? Interesting shit. Alright, chats. Elise. What the fuck is this? This is going to be a big... Big old talkie. Hi, sorry, um, is this Elise? I was wondering if I could ask you for some que some questions about the case you reported about your son. Excuse me, he just burped. Excuse me. Uh, my, my? Are you an officer from the, the sheriff's office? I don't think anyone from the station believed me. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear from someone. Uh, no, actually, my name is Paul Castillo. Think of me as a private investigator of sorts. What I don't understand. Why would you be interested in helping me find my son? I mean, following the other Stone Creek disappearances, the others are nothing like yours. You said everyone else forgot him. George? George, yes, George. That's his name. It's getting so hard to remember, my sweet... Oh, shit. 
Maybe he was one of the first ones, and that's why it's like people are forgetting him. Uh, you won't just tell me I'm crazy, will you? I can't do this again if you're just going to tell me he doesn't exist. It's not my place to say what you're going through is unimaginable. I want to help you, at least. Is that like a joke? Because she might be imagining this? And I want to understand. I, I don't know. How about I give you a call and you tell me about George? I'll listen. It might help you hold on to the memory of him. That sounds okay. Let's do it. Okay. Is there now? Ooh! Oh, shit! Can I check the call records? Dude, can I say she's a cutie? If she's meant to have a son, can I say she's a cutie? Am I allowed to say that? All I said is she was a cutie, right? That could mean anything. I'm not the one that's on trial here, right? I'm not the one abducting the, the people. It's the monster. Okay, it's not working. Um, I'm pretty sure, not even joking, I'm pretty sure that these names are um, the names of fans of the game who have like, you know, I I'm pretty sure that these are actually people. I think this is just like the Kickstarter backers list. Um, where do we go now? Mail. Mariah T. Good day, Paul. I've been a fan of your blog for a while. Reading it always makes me remember Stone Creek's rich folklore. I have something to contribute, but your site seems to be down at the moment. So I thought, why not just send an email? So here goes. <sighs> Over the past few weeks, I too noticed something strange. There were these weird carvings around my house. While trying to patch them up, I found small toy cars near them tucked away under my bed. Uh, tucked away under my bed at the corner of drawers, stuck between stepping stones on my porch. When I see these toys, I can't help but feel that there's something missing, something important. I tried very hard to recall any events leading up to these findings, and the earliest memory I have was me cleaning my bathtub from dirty water. Not just any water, but water from the lake. I know its color, its smell. I used to swim there a lot when I was a kid. I thought I was experiencing some sort of memory loss, but the doctors say it's nothing. Since it was lake war, I suspected perhaps I had an encounter with the beldam, and I somehow blocked it off. You're the expert on this matter, so I am hoping that my story is something that you might find interesting. If there is anything else you wish to know, please do. I am... Wait, if we should know, please do? Shouldn't it be please ask? Please feel free to ask? I don't know. I am also open to meeting up if that is something you're interested in. Once again, I appreciate that you're doing for the town. Thank you. And that's from Maria. Can I say Maria's a cutie or do we have to wait to confirm her age? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna stop this joke because it's fucking going, it's going, it's going to bad places. Um, this is, this is like a flyer for the protest, right? Join us against Stone Creek's remodel as a resort town. The DaCosta Community Center Committee is organizing a peaceful sit-in protest at Cloud Square, previously Stone Creek Square. Join us against the Stone Creek's remodel as a resort town lobby, blah, 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 blah. Bring your own signs. Do you know that people are getting arrested at the Queen's funeral for having signs that just had blank sheets of paper? There was even a woman who had a blank sheet of paper, like, holding it, and she got followed in... I don't know which town it was. It was a town in Scotland. She got followed by the police. Um, and she said, do you really think that you should be following me? Like, And the policeman was like... He said something like, um, we're just trying to keep this place peaceful and make sure that nothing bad happens. And she's like, do you think I'm going to make something bad happen? He's like, we're trying to keep this place civil and blah, blah. Like, she's a fucking, like, 20-year-old girl. She's not going to do anything. She has a blank sheet of paper and this like police officers basically chasing her at this point for no reason just following her without any reason complete overstep of power to like follow a random citizen who's not suspicious at all and was heading away from the protests like fuck me dude our police sometimes it's like they they need they need to be in pairs and then their pairs need to be swapped that's what i think because if you swap the pairs of like cops that go around they'll be like 
on their best behavior in case they do something in front of a new cop. When cops in, in groups start to like fuck up is when they're all too comfortable with each other. That's what happens. It's, it happens, right? We've seen it. That one fucking dude in England. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there might be more apps in the game. Do you think there's got Flappy Bird? I wonder if this phone has Flappy Bird. All right, if we go here, what did that even give me? Nothing. Um, Let's go into unlock mode. So we got Paul's photo and we got the warehouse encounter. So in unlock mode, Paul's photo was at the library. Is any of these places near the library? The library's down here. So I kind of feel like that's not something we're going to use this on. Yeah, there's really nothing over there, right? Hmm. Feed. Is there more posted? Confused. Very confused. It said there was more, right? It said they, yeah, look, three more that I haven't seen. But this is up to date. Gonna go feral. Lockdown, this is the library. Oh, here we go, it's marked with yellow. That's good, that's good. Um, this is to be fear mongering from the news. Bad things happen all the time. It's just in your face more. There can't be that many missing people. More clip sequels. We keep tuning in. They keep making more money. All right, cool. Can you paper? Can you paper publish something more uplifting? It's been depressing these last couple of weeks. That's not how the news works. <laughs> sure it is. They edit, don't they? I just can't take it anymore. Hey, take care of yourself. It's good to be informed, but not to the point where you're being overwhelmed by it. My dad's one of those people who complains about the news being bad news, and then he sits and watches it for like three hours a day. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Like literally, he'll watch the news at six, and then he'll watch the news at ten for like an hour each time. And I think he watches the morning news as well. It's, it's not worth it, right? All these years, and I thought the mayor would have bought you out by now to Stone Creek Citizen Headquarters. Proud to learn that Stone Creek Citizen is independent. Please don't give the mayor any ideas. Hey, if he starts a rival paper, we can call it the Stone Creek Shillizen. Wow. Or the Stonehim Citizens. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Um, How is the assignment treating you? Uh, I unlock Paul's phone. There's this video. Am I gonna center the video? I am. This is her watching the video and then it'll pop up. Yeah. Never seen anything like this before. What the hell is happening here? Could this be footage be fake? Do you recognize that man in the video? How did Paul know where to find him? I'm gonna say this first. Doesn't look like anyone whose feathers are about to ruffle or fluff up. Luckily, we don't have to go searching much. Paul had to have information about this man somewhere else. How else did he find him? Um, you know Paul, any ideas where he'd hide them? I think this is the hint system. I think I'm going to skip out on this because that's the hints. I think the best thing to do is go back to the map and try and hammer in these things. So to be collected, possibly it would be the warehouse encounter that we submit. It might not be. Yeah. Paul's photo. That's fine. I don't think you get punished for putting the wrong thing in. Morning fix. That sounds like it's going to be a coffee thing. I promise. Remember as well that some of these files don't go anywhere. So it could just be that they don't do anything. Yep, 
I mean, the, the hint, starry-eyed, doesn't really go with any of this, but... Um, hidden data detected. Sensitive information hidden behind an extra security measure. Trace the locations in chronological order to unlock them. Thomas's favorite spot. Huh? Oh. You have to actually, like, click to, like, connect the nodes. Kind of like in um, Ingress or something, right? Um, is this hints? Is this hints? That's good enough for me. Text me when you get better comprehension. Thomas's favorite spot. Is this from the feed thing? Is it the lighthouse? Thomas? Was it the coffee house? I'm totally, I'm totally not remembering Thomas at all. Um... <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna see if this is the hint system. You know Paul, any idea where he'd hide them? Maybe she'll explain the, the, the route system. Paul's like any other person who's into solving mysteries. They all need a soapbox. Oh, so you did need to t say this to her. His blog, Stone Creek Files. He might not have posted about it, but I'm willing to bet in his his investigation notes are on there. Damn, it's down. Maybe I have a local copy though, right? Enter your email address to proceed. Oh shit. Alright, what's my email address? Um Email address is Paul Castillo with two L's. at tmail.com <laughs> tmail.web <laughs> oh no you think that actually works if you uh, if you go on it answer the security question complete the pattern below hint Mark left on Abernathy Farm. Hint, Mark left on Abernathy Farm. Um. Uh. The crop circles? Mark left on Abernathy Farm. It has to be the crop circles, right? If you go to Abernathy Farm, they have this, and then there's no follow-up pictures. And then there's this, which just says a bunch of chickens. Is it as simple as that? Is it just a circle? Invalid pattern. Um, hmm. Is this it?
how would you do this as an input for um, a phone? Would it be like top left to middle and then left down and up to the right? I don't know how you would do this as a mobile phone thing because you can't cross through the same point more than once. I don't know how you would do that. I can try. Um, <laughs> I don't fucking know. That was it. Uh. Oh, left of Abernathy Farm, right? So maybe it's meant to be read at a different angle. So it would be like this. And then like this. Shit. Dude, I'm stumped to the first puzzle. Good stuff. If it's left of Abernathy Farm, it would be like this. You can't cross through the middle point more than once though, that's the thing that fucks me up. Because it's like... It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's definitely this though, right? To the left of Abernathy Farm. Mark to the left. Has to be that. There's no other parts with like these dots. There's definitely nothing here. Mark left on Abernathy Farms. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. If you're looking at the farm, <clears throat> if you're looking at the farm, right? and you put the pattern on your left, it's a Y shape. And if you're looking at it like this, it's more of like a D shape. I don't know how this works. So I've selected Abernathy Farm. If I click Mirror Technologies, it deselects it. Right? You see that? It's like I can't make anything um, go from... Oh, it worked that time. It's glitchy, I think. So say, for example, I pick the lighthouse and I click Abernathy Farm. I would expect that to do... It's glitchy. This is selected, you see the orange ring, and I click Abernathy Farm, it deselects it. I click the lighthouse again. Like how how does how does this work? Very weird. Um This isn't gonna work. How how the fuck am I gonna solve this? Any unauthorized tampering or entry is prohibited. Please call our helpline if you're facing difficulties to log in. Is it as simple as this? 
<laughs> like, like, is this the hint? The mark left of Abernathy Farm. I'm literally going to be here all day. I, I, I don't get it. It's a, it's a nine dot grid, right? So you can imagine a nine dot grid overlaid on this. So you would start top left, go to the middle, then you would go to the, the left and then down. But then the point is you can't cross back through the middle. To get the shape, you would have to, to get the shape, you would have to start top left, right? So you start top left, you go to the middle, and then you would go to the bottom left, up back to the middle, and then to the right. And then you would go up if you wanted to do this part. If this doesn't work, I don't know. Fuck. I don't get it. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? It's straight through at the end. Holy fucking shit. It only took me 15 minutes, but we did, <laughs> we did it. All right, master caption. Uh, select the images containing what is described in the caption. Sightings of the Beldum around Stone Creek. Um, this is not the Beldum. That's, that's the Beldum. Stay strange, Stone Creek. Buy me a bagel. This is like a coffee. Is this is coffee link. Investigations, Frasher Lake, Elm Beads, Antler Beast, Strange Symbol, and Beldum. And that's the picture of that girl. That's uh, Sophie? What was her name? Elise. I think that's Elise. Alright, any more photos? Dude, I'm fucking scared. I'm shit in my pants. Some initial thoughts about the symbol. Listen up, me. It's very possible that this symbol is a mark of resistance for Stone Creek. Every movement needs one. The town has a history of civil disputes, mainly between the council and the townsfolk. What if enough is enough? They're finally taking a stand to push back and reclaim Stone Creek. It'll be a fight I support, that's for sure. But still, it's being connected to the disappearances. It doesn't make sense to involve people who have no part of it. I mean, there are children who are among the lost. It couldn't be the town, no. If not us, what about... Aliens? <laughs> they visited us before. Look at Abernathy Farms. Although, back when the crop circles appeared, there weren't any stories of abductions or folks going missing. Or is it... Her? The Beldum? Oh, just saying her name gives me chills. She definitely has a grudge against Stone Creek. Anyone here would be fair game, except she's never had a symbol associated with her in all my research. A familiar, yes. A flower? Check. A lake? Yep. But a symbol? That's new. I should go back and look again. I couldn't have missed it, could I? If it is her, it begs the question, why now? What would have awoken the Beldum after all these years? It has to be something powerful. I wonder, is it more dangerous than the Beldum? Fucking Cthulhu, boys. It's fucking Cthulhu. Alright, let's back out of this and let's watch the video. What am I looking for here? Is this CCTV footage? Dude, I'm fucking scared. I don't even want to watch this.
Did you see how much his railing wobbled there? Not safe. The scariest thing in this game is the building code. Look, look at the, look at the wobble. Look at the wobble. Watch that banister. Watch this here, right? Watch how much this wobbles. I'm gonna put my cursor here. Wonk. You see that? All right. Anyway. Dude, now I've got the hiccups. Did you know there's a way to stop yourself from hiccuping by telling yourself you're not a fish? If you say, I'm not a fish, it stops your hiccups. Real talk. Actually, does it. Stone Creek is rich with history and legends that are equal parts weird and wonderful. Join me as I document them till next time. And this is the homepage. Let's see about his buy me a bagel. You can't click it. Um, Legend of the Beldum treasure at the... F wait. Treasure at Thrasher's Lake. Copyright owned by Paul Castillo. Feel free to share, but ask my permission if you want to use anything written here. Oh, shit. The Beldum lived beside the lake, her home surrounded with lush trees and plump animals. <laughs> what a fucking weird way to start a sentence. When you feel lost and all is bleak, beware the Beldum of Stone Creek. Lighten up, don't make a frown, otherwise, like her, you will drown. So goes the Beldum's rhyme. Wait, you know that one girl on the Twitter thing that keeps saying, like, she's sick of all the bad news? Maybe the bad news and people being depressed is making it worse, right? Um, so goes the Beldum's rhyme. The witch who wreaked havoc over Stone Creek centuries ago and vowed to return in death. There's a magic in these verses that compels us to repeat it. And as we do, a curiosity beckons who is the Beldum. Why did she curse Stone Creek? Oh god, I don't want to... We're going to stay up here. We're going to stay away from the picture at the bottom of the screen. <sighs> Why did she curse Stone Creek? When Stone Creek was first settled, the land was barren. Crops would wilt before the harvest, and signs of wildlife were scarce. There was something here that repelled life, everywhere but the nearby lake, where a mysterious woman lived, the Beldum. Desperate, the townsfolk turned to her for help. She traded them seeds in return for the promise of a place in Stone Creek. <coughs> the Beldum, a blessing and a curse. Time passed. Uh, the town was on the precipice of success when an illness spread throughout, uh, through Stone Creek. Many experienced terrible fevers, tremors, and hallucinations. None could identify the cause until some... It's coronavirus, dude. I'm telling you. Until some report having nightmares of the Beldum before their demise. Speaking in tongues and revealing her true nature. Okay, okay, we're just going to keep that down here for a minute. <sighs> deep, deep breath. I, I know that the other game, whenever you backed out of stuff, it would like... Like, like the girl on the, the wallpaper of the phone would change and it would be the scariest fucking shit ever. Okay, 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 we've seen it, we've seen it. An artist's interpretation of the Beldum. The Beldum was the source of all the death and rot. Her place in Stone Creek was as its, as its terror, and she fed off every wail, every ounce of pain they suffered. Enraged, the town folk marched towards her home to free themselves from her hold. In the calm waters of the lake, they drowned, held her limbs, held her limbs, her body, and her head down until only a violent stillness lingered before her death she cursed the town with the promise they wait 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 so the beldum let them in and then just killed them for like no reason she just started like spreading madness to them and then they decided to kill her okay before her death she cursed the town with the promise they made her the Beldum will always have a place in Stone Creek, and she will never leave. To this day, her legend and her spirit dwell, waiting for the return, waiting to return their actions tenfold. So she's waiting to kill more people. Good, good ship. Good ship. Oh God. All right. Well, it is uh, it's ten past eleven, and I think I'm gonna actually end the stream. Because I'm I'm that scared of this game. Nope. Nope. It's nothing to do with me being scared. <clears throat> I am scared. I actually am. I'm fucking <laughs> I know that like on Simulacra 2, 
when the girl's face changed on the wallpaper and in Simulacra 1 when she turned around to face the other way, it was like the scariest fucking shit. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go. Good night. Thanks for watching. Sorry that the stream was like two hours long. Um, gotta go, lads. Gotta go. At least you can't toss someone out the window in this game. True. <laughs> fucking hell. I killed people in Dr. Decker uh, this week as well. I killed some of my patients. I got one of them to shoot himself in the head. He thought that if he um, held a gun to his head, that he would be able to like create enough risk that he'd be able to jump his consciousness into another body. And he would jump his consciousness into the body of the guy that didn't kill himself with Russian roulette. And he then planned to like stake all his money on bets and if he lost it all, like, he'd be able to jump his consciousness into the body of somebody who won it all in an alternate timeline, like in Zero Escape. I got him to shoot himself in my office. It was pretty fucked up. Probably shouldn't have told him to do that. All right. Auf Wiedersehen. Good night. We'll finish this game at some point. We'll probably finish it tomorrow, actually. Like, I don't think it's longer than six hours. Um, good night. Good night. Huh?